Well, welcome to the Boiling Point. It's cold here in Louisville, Kentucky, and boilers like these are running like crazy. Your boiler is good for heating, maybe for process, but it's possible that it's good to generate some electricity. We're gonna go over to our friends at the valve shop and talk with Bill Fogarty and discuss how a turbine could maybe help you. Well, we're here at the valve shop. Always enjoy hanging out with guys that are a lot smarter than me. We're with Bill Fogarty, our division manager of the valve shop. Looks like we're gonna to go to school a little bit here, Bill. Could you maybe talk to us a little bit about what you've got set up? Yeah, um, you know, steam is commonly used in uh, heating applications in industry and all throughout colleges and u universities. And we primarily think of it as a heat transfer media. Um, years ago, it was used as motive power. And uh, also we were able to extract the BTUs out of it while using it for motive power. And now there's been a, a resurgence of that idea, that concept called combined heat and power. And what we want to do today was just kind of demonstrate the thought process of what goes on as steam expands and how we can create, how we can grab that essentially free energy uh, by, of that stam, uh, steam expanding. And this is basically coming from a boiler that's just standard in a plant. Right. Uh, maybe running at 150 PSI as far as the design pressure. Right. But maybe the operating pressure might be lower than that, obviously. Could be 100. Maybe 100 PSI. Right. And then there's ability to actually get more, more pressure out of it to be able to, to go to a back chart or back pressure turbine. Right. Okay. Basically, well, let's describe what happens. When we, when we put water in a boiler, this is roughly one pound of water, and we put that in the boiler, and we boil it, and we take that steam up to pressure. And right here, I've got 180 pound steam illustrated in this box. This water goes from this volume to the volume that's indicated by this box. So you can see it's, uh, it's grown significantly in size. But we're gonna send this through a header out into our plant and typically what we do is reduce the pressure and we'll do it through a PRV, self-contained PRV or a control valve. This is self-contained PRV. When we do that, the steam changes its volume. It gets much larger in volume. And this is the same pound of steam at 20 PSI. You can see it's significantly bit bigger. What's happened, the BTUs that were in this 180 pound steam are still in this 20 pound steam it's just changed volume. But there's one thing that we haven't taken advantage of, and that's the, uh, the expansion of this steam as it moves through this pressure reducing valve. And so what we do in combined heat and power through the use of back pressure turbines is take advantage of that expansion of steam and use it for a, for a motive force to turn a pump, a fan, a generator, a number of different devices. All right, so you've kind of blown my mind with all of this stuff here, Bill. So now let's take what you did illustration and let's find out how we can put this into practice. Sure. What we have here is a, is a back pressure turbine. And basically it's going to expand the steam just as we did through the control valve, but it's going to capture the, the energy in that expanding steam and turn a device, a, a, a pump, a generator, a fan. So the component parts of this uh, back pressure turbine generator, this is the steam inlet. So we're going to bring our 180 pound steam in through this turbine trip valve. It's going to go in through the governor valve and then through a series of nozzles down here. Those nozzles direct the steam towards these little turbine wheels and force that turbine uh, wheel around and out the back comes the motive power that we, that we were looking for. And this is, would be where the 20 pound steam would exhaust. We're gonna lose a little bit of BTU content when we're doing this, mm -hmm. but the value of the motor po motive power uh, far outweighs the cost of the steam that we'll, that we'll lose. And where is that going to? The 20 this pound is going steam. to whatever we normally had our 20 pound steam going to, a okay. 20 pound header, a big heat exchanger, a number of different devices. All right, and so off the back we have a generator obviously. We have a generator, a fan drive, an air compressor, um, a, pump, uh, a, a pump, we can drive a pump with this. So we, we are picking up that energy which is lost in that pressure reducing valve. 
Okay. In the pressure reducing valve, if you ever walk by one that's flowing real heavily, you'll, you'll recognize that there's energy loss going there just because it's really loud. It's screaming. Mm -hmm. So we're losing that energy that we gain in the turbine just in noise and in damage to the valve. Okay. And then I'm assuming that you can take the electricity, sell it back, use yeah. it. What, what, how does that Typically, work? Typically, you'll use it in plant. It'll never make it to the grid in most, in most facilities. So you might generate anywhere from 100 to 500 kW okay. uh, with a back pressure turbine. And of course, that's going to reduce your, your plant el electrical cost. Uh, you're just going to buy that much less electricity. Uh, any payback? with yeah. this typically or typically the applications that make sense are flow rates certainly above 6,000 pounds an hour 10,000 pounds is better um, we want to see roughly 100 psi drop if at all possible we can go from from 100 to 20 uh, or 80 to 10 or 80 to 5 those can still be good good paybacks right uh, in large part if you're using a generator it's the, the payback is largely dependent on what you're paying for electric Okay. It's going to be much quicker if you're paying 12 cents for electric as opposed to six cents okay. per kilowatt hour. Okay. So uh, fairly simple devices. They've been around for since the 1920s. Mm. The designs are mature. There's really not uh, much more efficiencies that can be uh, gotten out of them. They're uh, a, they're a mature product hmm. and very tried and true. Typical life, you can get 30 to 40 years out of one of these. Awesome. Well, I always love hanging out with you, Bill, and I always learn something when I'm around you. So appreciate all that you do, and thanks for bringing us the back pressure turbine and how you can actually uh, save some money in your plant and maybe use the existing boiler that you have and get a little bit more out of it. We'll see you next time. Well, we're getting an awful lot of videos out on our YouTube page, and we're really getting into the minds of some ind industry professionals. Uh, we'd really appreciate if you go out there and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, maybe follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.